Got one of these laying around? And one of these laying around? Ah. Before you start looking into recycling your laptop or sticking it in the junk closet never to be heard from again, why not bring that old PC back to life in a way that works for your mini me? It only takes a few steps and I'll walk you through it. This is DIY in five. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in five. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and today's episode will cover how to repurpose your old laptop for kids. Whether it's your own tiny human or a family member, repurposing an old or recently replaced laptop is a great way to pay it forward and make sure old trusty gets the most mileage possible. If you find the tips in today's video useful, be sure to like this video, sub to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future DIY tech tips. First things first, check that the laptop is still working. If you encounter any hardware issues like a dead battery or faulty motherboard, it's unlikely that the device will work much better without some sort of replacement or professional repair. Some companies may still be willing to buy the laptop from you, but if you are looking to repurpose it for another person, you'll want to make sure any hardware issues are taken care of. Secondly, anytime you're gifting, selling, or otherwise handing off your laptop to another person, you'll want to reset it to its factory settings. Doing so completely will erase your personal data, so make sure you back up any files from that old device you'd like to keep and save them in a new location. Kingston makes some great USB drives and external storage solutions if you're looking for an easy backup method. Just saying. Once all your top secret files are secure, then you'll be able to move on to the next step, the factory reset. Going through with a full factory reset removes any programs, files, accounts, and settings that you may have set on the device and resets it to its original out of the box software experience. To perform a factory reset on Windows 10 devices, simply type factory reset into the Cortana search bar. Click on reset this PC, then choose get started underneath where it says reset this PC. Choose the remove everything option. At that point, Windows will ask if you want to clean the drives too. At this point, you'll want to choose remove files and clean the drive. This process takes longer, but it's the best option before you give the device away. To perform a factory reset on a Mac, the process is a bit different whether you have an Intel processor or Apple Silicon. For Intel-based Macs, hold down the power button, then choose Restart from the pop-up menu. While the computer is restarting, hold down the Command and R until the Apple logo appears. At this point, you can let go of the buttons and the Mac will boot into recovery. For Apple Silicon, you'll need to turn the computer off completely first. Then hold down the power button to turn the Mac back on again and hold that power button for several seconds, at which point you should see loading startup options. Select options from the startup screen and you will enter Mac OS recovery. Once in recovery, you'll be asked to sign in with an administrator account and password. Then select disk utility to wipe the hard drive titled Macintosh HD under the internal heading. Click erase at the top Keep the name as Macintosh HD and be sure the format is set to APFS or Mac OS Extended, journaled. Click Erase Volume Group or just plain Erase if that button doesn't show up to wipe the drive and repeat this process with any other internal drives. Exit out of the Disk Utility window to go back to the recovery screen. To reinstall Mac OS now that you have wiped the drive, be sure the laptop is plugged in and connected to the internet. At the macOS utility screen, click Reinstall macOS and follow the instructions. After your laptop is reset, if it doesn't work as well as it used to, you may want to consider a hardware upgrade. Increasing your computer's memory and storage are both simple ways to bring a slow computer back to life. Adding memory will ensure the laptop can juggle more tasks at once and give you faster recall speeds. Upgrading an old hard disk to a solid state drive will give you an immediate speed boost and upgrading your storage capacity will give you more space for files and applications. If you need help installing new memory or storage in your device, check out some of our other DIY in 5 videos linked in the description and I'll walk you through it. At this point, you've got a like new laptop to pass on to the next generation. You may want to consider loading the device up with programs your child might need access to, or you could even prep it to be a starter gaming laptop if that's appropriate for your situation. 
Also, depending on the age of the intended recipient, you may want to add parental controls by either creating a child's account or through security settings or third-party software. With so many of us using devices like these to connect for schooling, work, and social gatherings, being able to repurpose older devices is so important. If you have any questions about repurposing old devices not mentioned in this video, please go ahead and leave them in the comments, and the team here at Kingston will do our best to help out. Okay, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.